what you know, do the, does a non-Muslim gain the benefits uh, from reading the Quran in general, or, uh, as a, as a Muslim would, or like the blessings and so forth? Uh, a non-Muslim reading the Quran, mm. this is definitely uh, something that should be done. Yes, and that's what the Quran is basically the the living miracle to the day of judgment mm. for people, and the Quran is calling people to mm. embrace the truth. So the best da'wah, the best invitation to people to Islam is to give them the Qur'an, mm. is to give them the message of the Qur'an, whether it's to give them a copy of the Qur'an for them to read it themselves, or you explain to them the Qur'an. Mm. It's not about my opinion or someone else's opinion, it's the message of the Qur'an and the miraculous words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when people see the Qur'an and read the Qur'an, they would see the absolute truth in it, in mm. every single aspect of it. Whether it's in the most important thing that they need, which is, the fact that they need to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone following the way the Prophet وسلم, and also in the stories the benefits of what is being mentioned the rulings the manners that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders people for people to observe mm. it's the perfect thing because it's the perfect words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no book on the face of earth that can challenge even one chapter of the Quran mm. so for those people those who have sincerity and truthfulness uh, they should read the Quran and see Mm. This is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and definitely they would benefit. Mm. And even if, say for example, a person continued to be in the state of disbelief, mm. uh, they take some benefit maybe in their worldly thing, but it won't benefit them in the hereafter. Mm. The benefit in the hereafter for a person to save, to be saved from the hellfire, a person has to embrace 